Hey guys. Get that. Cassie found something here. It's the size of a nickel. Give me a buffalo nickel. Give me that buffalo juice. Oh, I gotta keep digging some more here. Let's see what else we can get. I found myself a bucket lister. I got a crotal bell. It's a weedy. You found a weedy? Yes. Sweet. A Walking Liberty 1943 half dollar. Oh my god, it's freaking gorgeous. You got an Indian? Oh my god, Cassie got an IHP. Needless to say, I am a happy camper. Morning, guys. It is Easter Sunday, and before everything begins, I'm kind of taking the opportunity to get out and do a little bit of metal detecting. It's supposed to be gorgeous today in southwest Michigan. Um... I've got shorts on for the first time this year, um, and it's supposed to be about 70 today. It's bumping 50 right now, no wind and feeling really nice, uh, and I'm about a half an hour from home at a school that I've never detected at before. A uh, beautiful open field here in front of me with some nice old, uh, looks like elm trees or something here. I'm not great at telling what trees are. Um... We're going to give it a go and see what we can find. If nothing else, we're getting out and getting some fresh air and exercise, and uh, that matters. So, hopefully, see you guys soon on the first find. Well, it is uh, 1027, and so far I have dug a good bit of clad here. None of it worth, you know, anything I want to keep. I, I want older stuff. I really don't care about the clad. But it pays the gas, I guess. Look down there, though. And you'll see, somewhere down there, uh, where'd it go? It's hard to see it in the camera, but right here, we found some sort of a little pendant with a stone that big. It's fake, you know. It's also pretty light. That's really cool, though. It was just barely under the ground. Really pretty. Look at that. It's got more stones in there. Let me clean it off real quick. Boy, how do you imagine if those suckers were real right there? <laughs> that would be, uh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be dang near a retirement fund right there. That's nice though. It's pretty. We'll take it. You know, it's just a trinket, but we'll take it. Let's keep going. All right, it is not too far away from 11 o'clock, and we just got our first wheat penny. It was not very deep, about four inches down. Looks to be a 40s model. 46, I believe that says. So, uh, we'll take that's the first wheat penny for the day, so hopefully we'll find some uh, other good stuff in here. Let's keep going. Moved around the corner off of the flat spot uh and heading up a hill next to an old house that we, i know was here back in the 40s and 50s found myself a dog tag i don't think it's particularly old i'll unbend it when i get home and see how old it is but uh yeah that's a cool find I haven't found a dog tag in a long time glad to have it all right guys just got the find of a lifetime how many of you when you have been out metal detecting can you say you found a spork hardly used could be reconditioned and reused putting this in my finds pouch <laughs> this place i'm in is actually really trashy i mean not just surface trash but the hill i'm on let me turn you around and let you see the hill might not be able to tell it, but as we go up toward that big tree over there and the wooded area, this is all uphill. And as you look, the surface slants that way. And there's a ridge right here that all that area over there appears to be like partial fill dirt until you get way up at the top. But I, it's almost like something was bulldozed over here. It's bad. It's really bad. Uh, I'm having a hard time picking out the good signals, but you know, I'm working it. You gotta, you gotta keep at this before you get good at it. So 
we're going to keep at it. This kind of sort of lends credence to the theory that this is a like dump area or something like that. I, I, I theorize that there was something up on this hill here that was bulldozed down. Something happened. Found me an old measuring spoon, piece of a measuring spoon, or it's, that's the whole one. It's just buckled over. I'd like to find something better than this. It's curious figuring out the area, you know, but I want to find something better. And just a few feet and a f literally 20 seconds later, I got another wheat penny. I can't uh, can't see what it is. Just... Oh, it's a 19. Can't see the next. I can't tell what that is. Hang on a second. Let me clean it up a little bit better. That looks to me like it says 1940 on the money right there, doesn't it? That's what I'm going to call it until I have something better to tell me it's not. So, two wheat pennies. There's some silver in here somewhere. I just know it. I, I just haven't hit it yet. We're going to keep looking for it, though. Alrighty. I have uh, come up next to the school here to uh, see what I could find up here. And I do have myself a wheat penny, a 1941. A lot of, I think most of the stuff I found is in the 40s right now. So, uh, you know, that silver range, there's got to be some here somewhere. I am just not swinging over it apparently hopefully the area up next to the school here isn't quite as trashy everywhere else i've been it's just i've had to sift through trash to get to signals so i'm not giving up it's it's warming up and i had to abandon the sweatshirt it's over there <laughs> but we're gonna keep going all right i have to say this is a fairly encouraging sign this was only three inches three and a half inches deep but i got another wheat And uh, it is a 51. So we'll take that too. That's uh, two in just a very short, I mean, 10 feet from each other here. Nice. All right, guys. This is the signal I've been waiting for. Let's see. Let's see if it's what I hope it is. It's right there. It's pretty shallow. So I'm gonna use my hand digger here and see if I can get this out. so bright I can't really see the camera so kind of sort of having to focus on my glove all right let's see what we got probably just a penny but <laughs> it's a quarter <laughs> dang it that was coming in more like silver you know, I'll take it, but dang it, I want some silver really bad. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let's get it in the shade. I think it'll make it a little bit better. That is Wheaty number six. And that's a 1925. So it's a little bit older there. And uh, I still got a lot of the area. I have just only done about a 30 foot wide section near the school here. So, whoops. I've got a lot to go. Getting tired though. It's past lunchtime and I did not bring anything to eat. Well, that's a bit unexpected. Take a look at that. We got us a ring of some sort there. 
<laughs> I'm just enjoying the opportunity to sit down right now, so I'm stalling. Oh my, God, it's a Porsche ring. Interesting, it's squished horribly. It's got some weight to it. This could actually be silver. I thought it was a kid's ring, but uh, this could actually be the real deal. Let me uh, clean this up a little bit. This could be my first silver for the year. I don't think I've gotten silver anyways. I'm trying to think. I don't. Th I, if I do, it's not a coin, so this wouldn't be a coin either. Let me, let me clean it up first. All right, let's see if I can get this so you can see it. But if you look down in there... Yeah, there we go. It's upside down, but you can see it says 925. So, we have us a silver Porsche ring. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm going to have to uh, see if I can carefully straighten this out the rest of the way. But that is awfully cool. Was not expecting that, but I'll take a little bit of silver in the form of a Porsche ring. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, that ring lifted the dry spill, guys. Uh, I was on... I'm sitting on one side of a tree. Little bitty tree. See? It's a tree above me. And... I went around, came back down, I'm on the other side of the tree, and I got shiny in the hole. I knew it when I got the signal. I knew this was it. This was it. So let me, sh let me show you what I got. It was down underneath this root here. So I had to get it out. But we've got right over there, covered up. I can see the bottom of it. It looks like it might be a merc. Yes, it is. It is a Merc. Let's set that sucker up here. Make us a little ledge. And uh, spray this thing off and see what we got there. Uh, talk amongst yourselves while I get my spray bottle out here. I gotta find it. Oh, there we go. What year are we going to have? I cannot tell. 1942, right in the same time frame for all these pennies we've been finding. 1940s. I knew we had to get some silver in here somewhere. And I am probably not more than half an hour away from being done for the day, too. So that's nice. My first silver coin for the year is a 42 Merc. And I am very, very, very glad to have it. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. All right, guys, I, that's it. <laughs> you know, uh... I have to admit, when I got to this location, I did not have high hopes for it. Uh, it is a public school. It is in an area that's easily accessible. We do have a decent amount of people around here that metal detect. So I figured for sure, oops, kick my table, uh, that it would be one of those places where it's already been detected to death. And unless that happened a good while ago, um, then no, apparently not. I'm, I'm really surprised by that. Um, the area up next to the school actually was the cleanest area, uh, with the least amount of trash. It was really clean actually, uh, and had, you know, my targets that came out at me were really good targets. They were very obvious. Some of them were not that deep. And unless somebody was just cherry picking silver signals and nothing else, then um, I don't know that this place has ever been detected. Now, there's areas of it, the, the first areas that I started in, um, 
really, really trashy. And I thought, okay, I, I could see people missing a lot of stuff here because, you know, some, some people, especially if you're, you don't detect all the time, you just do it occasionally, um, hit those trashy areas. It's really difficult for, for somebody like that, that, I mean, I have a hard time with it and I get out all the time. Um, and it's it's rough sorting through the trash and knowing what to dig and what not to dig. And sometimes you just got to dig it all and figure it out. But when it's that trashy, man, you just don't want to. Because if you're getting up and down and up and down and up and down just digging trash constantly, that's rough on you. Um, and you get discouraged pretty easily. Um, so anyway, I came away with some excellent stuff out of what I didn't expect to have high hopes for. And I got my silver, yes. So let me show you what we did come away with. This is what we got. A pretty good collection of stuff there. I found a Sharpie that works. See, I mean, it looks, it works like it's brand new. Found a, you know, a couple of pieces of pottery. This has even got some uh, really decorative stuff on it there. Um, oops, there we go. It's faded a little bit, but it's it's pretty. Um, got uh, my measuring spoon. I got my, I'm going to call this the Sporka Sioux. Oh, uh, yes, I kept that. <laughs> I had to, it was too cool. Um, I call it the Sporka Sioux after one of my favorite YouTube channels, the Wolf Pit. It's W-O-L-F-E. Pit, Wolf Pit. Go check him out. He's a pretty cool dude. He has a bunch of stuff like what are we eating where he goes to like the Dollar Tree or whatever and uh, checks out some of those El Cheapo meals to find out whether they are junk or not. And um, you can, you know, I'll, I'll let you go check out his channel. Anyways, on to the other stuff. I got a 64 Canadian. I got a bunch of stuff. I almost covered, I got a first year uh, memorial penny and then dang near covered the whole range of 60s there uh those are the zincans that i that were really bad and a ton of clad not including any of the rest of the stuff i had 19 pennies 25 dimes a ton of dimes i'm surprised at how many dimes there were 16 quarters so i got like 669 in clad and again that's not including any of that up there um, just a button or something. I, I saved that to, uh, see if I can clean it up. It just has a star on it. Uh, got me a 1922 dog tag. That's pretty cool. Um, I haven't had a dog tag in a while and to get a 1922 is really cool. Um, got some Wheaties ranging from 25 up to 51. Got this really cool piece of, um, it says junk jewelry here, but it's really pretty. I like it. If that was a real set of diamonds in there, I don't know. I'd probably be paying my car off right now. <laughs> uh, my first silver coin of the year is a beauty. Um, 41 or 42 Merc. Love me some Merc dimes. So I'm really happy about that. And this was unexpected. Um, look at that. Let me zoom in on it just a hair there. A Porsche silver ring. The sides are just, you know, that... I don't know what you call that. It's a pretty cheap ring, to be honest. I mean, there's nothing that fancy about it. So, pretty crappy made. But, nonetheless, it is um, in there somewhere. As it's marked 925. And it feels, it feels like silver too. You know, it has a certain feel and a certain weight to it. And that definitely has it. So I'm really pleased. But that's, that really just goes to show you, sometime you got to get out and detect those places that you just don't expect to find anything. Sometimes that's where you find some really cool stuff. Um, I got a bunch of wheats to add to my collection for the year. Dog tag, uh, Merc Dime, and a silver Porsche ring. Who else can say they got one of those? <laughs> or a spork. So, I could even put my ring in the spork. Check that out. It's multifunctional. 
so anyway, I hope you guys got something out of that. I had a lot of fun with it. I tell you what, I was sore the next day, getting up and down for all this clad. After the winter, so I'm just not used to it. So I'm really glad I got a chance to go out and do it. Anyway, you guys get out there and find your treasure. Let me know what you're finding. And um, don't forget to uh, share the um, share my channel and uh, subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later.